This is instructions on how to get the BE line bonding Comtrend router to SNMP graph traffic. So on this I'm using the PRTG free edition on Windows. So load it up. Use the freeware edition. Click on add. Click next. You want to use a standard SNMP. Click next. Standard traffic sensor. Click next. I'm going to put in WAN as the alias. That doesn't really matter what you put in there as long as it a name that you recognise. Put in the IP address of the router. So again, depending on whether you've customised it and the age of the router from BE, it's either 192.168.1.1 or the newer ones are 192.168.1.254. In my setup, I've got it as 10.0.0.10. Let's fill in the IP address. You want S uh, SNMP version 2C unless you've customised the port and the SNMP community string it's 161 and public click on next it'll look for interfaces that it can graph and the interesting thing here which just baffled me it is not called uh, the name you'd expect it to be called it's called NAS00101 so you need to tick the NAS I'm also going to graph uh, the wireless connection which I think is that one there WL0 uh, if you were using the Comtrend on a PPP provider or another provider, you'd select uh, probably the ATM layer one. Uh, click on Next. I'm going to just put it standard, don't need a group or anything, and I want it to check for traffic every one second. Click on Finish. And we should, with any luck, see some traffic flowing. There we go. If I, uh, on my other screen, do a speed test, you should see it rocket up even more. So begin. There we go. 7 megs a second. And uh, done. If I close it, that speed should drop back down to, to almost nothing again. Yep, there we go. 16 kilobits a second. Uh, one thing you do need to do first is enable SNMP on the router. So if you've not managed to find that section, this is where you enable it. So log into the router via its web interface. On the left hand side select, I think it's maintenance. No, nope, management. SNMP agent and just make sure it's enabled. And click save and apply. There we go. And then you can graph using PRTG your bandwidth use and speeds over time.